Residents in Toledo, Ohio were without running water this past weekend when officials put a ban on using tap water throughout the city. After a routine test of the water supply on Friday, dangerous levels of microcystin, a toxin that is caused by algae blooms, were discovered. As many as 400,000 residents in Ohio's fourth largest city were told not to consume, cook, or boil with tap water, and many businesses were forced to remain closed all weekend because of the ban. The city set up distribution centers where members of the Ohio National Guard, fire officials, and other first responders were giving out safe water. As of Monday morning, Toledo Mayor Michael Collins had lifted the ban, saying the tests showed non-detectable levels of the algae-related toxin. I'm Mike Hussa with WICB News. This year's winter has been especially brutal on the Chicagoland area, and our latest snowfall that came earlier this week reminded us that it's not going away without a fight. But aside from all the abuse we've had to endure as residents, Chicago roadways have taken even more of the abuse from all the snow, salt, and plows that have left more potholes than ever across the city. Driving around Chicago throughout the winter has always had its challenges, but this year it's been especially tough to navigate the roads trying to avoid the monstrous potholes that seem to be just about everywhere you turn. The city's pothole problem is worse than ever this year and has prompted Mayor Rahm Emanuel to take action. In January, he unveiled the pothole tracker on the city's website that shows a map of all the potholes that have been filled. He also recently announced plans to repave as much as 333 miles of roadway this year instead of just patching them. We spoke with one driver who is fed up with all the potholes and doesn't think the mayor is taking enough action. My car is a wreck. Like I have taken my car to the shop. I made complaints because it's just ridiculous that these potholes in the city and the mayor, they're not doing anything. We also asked an auto shop owner what people can do to avoid damaging their cars on the potholes. Get durable tires, try to, you know, watch out for the potholes, especially through the snow and rain, you know, weather matters. CDOT crews have already filled 240,000 potholes this year and are expected to fill 25,000 more this month. And for those whose cars have been damaged by potholes, they'll have to file claims with the city and hope to be reimbursed. For WICB News, I'm Mike Hussa. Jesus, help me, please! Oh, man, that smells bad. It smells like that inside of you. You spray something fast. It smells awful. Oh, I feel so much better, but you're right. Let me spray this. Oh, that made it worse. It smells like poo scented potpourri. Here, try this new Febreze Extra Strict. It eliminates odor. Other brands try to mask the odor, but Febreze eliminates odor completely. Wow, that really worked. It smells great in here. Thanks, Febreze lady. 